you think anyone would have survived that? Steve and his crew are going to flip a school bus to test its survivability. One more, one more revolution. This is a challenging task because the bus has to flip over several times and one mistake could ruin the entire test or even worse, result in serious injury. As of 2021, only eight states required the use of seat belts on school buses. So just how deadly is it? How long can the passenger survive with continuous rolling? Now comes the big rigs. This 30,000 pound loader should provide sufficient power to flip the bus. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven flips. For the sake of not being demonetized, we can't use children on this bus. So we got mannequins dressed as prison inmates for crash test dummies. And to spice it up, we're playing as prison guards. As your ward, you got any last words? I would like to have popcorns. This is a bumpy ride and your last ride. <laughs> with the bus wrapped seven times with steel cable, the plan is to unravel it by pulling the cable with the loader. If the bus flips onto its side and drags across the ground, we're screwed. So hopefully with the weight of this loader and a high rated steel cable, we can put enough force and momentum on the bus to keep it rolling. The challenging part begins, but first the steel cable has to be tightened around the bus. This will prevent any sudden forces from damaging the cable and ensure a constant force is applied at the rollout. With the mannequins falling as the cable is being tensioned, Steve has to go back inside to set them up. All right, so we're about to flip it. What do you think's gonna happen to it? All the mannequins are gonna fly out. I don't think there's gonna be any survivors. Like fly out through what? The windows? The broken windows. Oh man. <laughs> Come on! Come on! This GoPro broke off, but that one survived. The beatably one survivor. Do you think he's alive? There's no head. Oh. Do you think anyone would have survived that? If this was on a highway and it flipped, it'd be flipping much quicker. When this thing rolls and you don't have a seatbelt on, it's essentially a clothes dryer. When that hatch came off, one of the mannequins got decapitated. Yeah, so saw that over there. Going through, yeah, so it's certainly and lethal. It got decapitated right away. Yeah. So now that we know how lethal this is, I think we should end it the way Mythbusters would. Destruction. With the test proving to be a success in demonstrating its lethality, it would be no fun to finish off without a fire. I can't stop the forklift! It won't stop moving! Shit! Oh my god! Oh! Oh shit!
We ain't saving no prisoners in that bus. Oh my God. They're gonna be well done. This was a lot of work. It was not cheap, so please give it a like and thank you for all your support.